<laughs> hey guys, it's Jesse here. I am over here about to make my um yes ma'am. An orange? An orange? Yes. Are you not gonna I'm, eat? No. Why I'm not? not gonna eat breakfast. I'm gonna eat an orange. Okay. An orange. Okay. Okay. Got. I got it now. Okay. I got, give me, I got it right here. One give right me one. There. Let me have another one, please. Another one? Another orange, please. I need it for my, my drink. Gracias. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you for my drink, please. Thank orange. you very much. Orange coming right up. Very good. Can I have my other one? Okay. It's right here. Here you go. Watch it. I got it. Here you go. Dale, toma. Pay attention to what you're doing, man. Goodness gracious, oh my God. Hey guys, what's going on, you guys? What's going on, you guys? What's going on, you guys? I am here making some smoothie. Hey, Melanie, how are you? What's going on, guys? So I got my ninja out right now. I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing so y'all can see what I'm doing right now, okay? I have an orange. That's for citrus, of course. I have some celery sticks. I have some apple cider vinegar, which is awesome for detoxing. This week is my detox week. I just started today. I had oatmeal this morning. I had a, a drink of, let me see. I had my garlic ginger garlic ginger and honey tea here that i just had and it's pretty good it was pretty good it's my first week so it's like you know i do this for the next three weeks so i can detox really good um no eating heavy when it comes to doing detox because you're trying to clean out your system i'm actually right now trying to clean out my liver as I'm going with my liver, I am trying to get myself motivated to get into the exercise mode and also doing my uh, stomach cleansing as well and my blood cleansing. So I'm doing everything in parts. This whole week is going to be my liver. Drink lots and lots of water because you don't want to get dehydrated. Okay, Dehydration is a huge thing, especially when you're doing a lot of citrus. Okay, So I'm doing uh, a lot of lemon. I'm doing a orange you want to do the whole thing you're doing organic apple cider vinegar and all you need is a cup of each with water because that's going to down it down but it's also going to clean you out you guys uh what else do i need my ninja cup my water because you want to incorporate water and all this detox stuff that i'm doing right now is going to detox your stomach your liver and your stomach and your blood from sugars that you don't need to be having in your body. Like I had oatmeal this morning. I had no sugar with the oatmeal. I had, uh, what else did I have? And I had my tea with no sugar. The only sugar, I don't think it's sugar, is honey. The honey that goes into it is everything. So now what I'm gonna do now is also, since I already have my tea with ginger and garlic, I can use some of this and put it inside of the drink as well and clean yourself out as well okay so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna take our cup and i'm gonna put y'all a little bit closer because they're too far away you guys okay there it is you guys are seeing it right now okay i'm gonna cut up your orange you can use your whole orange and you take your orange and you you can either juice it or put the chunks in there too i'm gonna put the whole thing in there because it's pretty good so, this whole week is going to be my, my liver detox. So, yeah, it's going to be pretty good. Okay? So, we're going to do, we're going to do orange, half an orange. Then we're going to do the lime or the lemon. Lemon or lime, either one. You want to juice it inside of here. And try to get the the, pe the the seeds out as best as possible. I'm going to take a spoon. 
I'm gonna take a spoon, take out all the pits because it's gonna happen. Take that and put it in back in the in the lemon. Take all of it out. Okay. That's what's gonna give a little bit of a flavor, but it, it, it is it's good for you. But it's very, 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 very not tasty. Okay? So we took our half of our lemon. You can take the other half if you want it. You could also incorporate it in there. It's good for you. I mean, and you're going to have water. So hi, Susan. How are you? Hi, Katie Lynn. Hi, Berlin. I'm saying hello to all my people here. And I just went live because I wanted to show you guys something different and I wanted to show you guys how I do my drinks. Deucing is awesome. They're always talking about it. Um, you could either, you could take the juice from the orange also. And just incorporate it in there as well. The juices are good for detox, okay? And you guys can look it up. I'm not doing anything differently. Everything that goes into hair is an all natural, okay. You can even eat the eat the inside of it, of course. Okay, so that's good. Now I'm gonna incorporate my um my celery stick. My celery stick. You can put the whole thing in there. You can put one or two, whatever you want. I like to since it's a detox. I have to do it week uh, daily, so I don't want to do it all at one time. I'm gonna take that whole thing. You can take the whole thing, okay? Stick it in there. Bam. Just like the guy, bam. Okay. Okay. Then you wanna take a little, you wanna take a cup of apple cider vinegar. <laughs> Half a cup of apple cider vinegar. Half a cup of apple cider vinegar. And there is my half a cup of half a cup of apple cider vinegar. That's it. And again, this is gonna be your whole week, a whole week of detoxing. Okay, you wanna do it right because you don't wanna not incorporate everything. Okay, so we got our celery, we got our uh, lemon, we got our um, orange, we got our lemon, we got our orange, orange. Let's see. Okay, got it. Now you wanna incorporate some water. That's about probably half a cup of 12. And then we're going to push it down. This is probably going to be up. And shake it up. See? That is your drink right there. Okay? Now, what we're going to do is put it on the machine. Push power. And this is what it actually looks like. You see, guys? This is what a detox looks like for me, anyway. This is the way I like it. This is the way I'm going to do it. These things here, like the ginger that I have in here, the ginger, the garlic, I have like probably like uh, four big heads of the garlic cloves. Okay, so you're going to take this right here. You're going to take this and you're going to break it up in four. Take the four. Chop them up real good. Take it and incorporate it into the tea that you're about to make. Preferably, you want to use um, like green teas. Um, you want if you want to do it at night, it's good too. You can do it at night. Also, awesome for your digestion because when you wake up in the morning, if you drink coffee, do not drink coffee. Drink teach um uh, that uh the green tea tea. That'll be better than coffee because coffee, what happens with me is that when I drink coffee, I drink caffeinated coffee. So it makes me jittery. It makes me jittery. It makes me jump. It makes me this. It makes me that. So I, I'm going to, I got to stop. I stopped doing it already. Uh, I had my last cup of coffee yesterday, I think. Oh no, the day before yesterday. Then today 
I just didn't have no coffee. I, all I'm having is tea, 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 tea for the rest of the week. Detox my liver. Then I go into detoxing my stomach. And it works all in itself because it's, it's, it's already detoxing a lot of your insides already. And my problem area is this area right here. This is my problem area. As you can see, it bulges out a little bit. But ever since I started, I've started, you know, I'm starting to go and use the restroom more now. So I'm good. I'm really good. But this is what it looks like. You see how all the pulp is coming out, right? You see how that looks? You see how the bottom looks? Check it out. What you want to do is do it again. Mix it up again. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. We're going to wait again and see how fast it goes up again. You see all the pulp go up? You're not going to drink the pulp. You're going to drink the juice. That's what juicing is. Okay. If you have a strainer, even better, because you take the strainer, you dump the juice into a cup and take that juice and, and take the pulp of it and throw it away because the pulp doesn't have anything else now. Okay? So give me a moment. Let me see if I can find a strainer right here. I need to find one. I'll buy one. Do something one. Yeah. I don't see one. Oh, Lord. I don't think I have one, guys. So I'm just going to do it by hand. I'm good with that. And also you could use a, you could you do a, you could do a tea as well with it. So you can do that as well. Where's my strainer? Good Lord almighty. Good Lord almighty. Or you can also drink it if you want. If you feel like you want to drink it, you could drink it. it to me, it's just pulp. So I'm not really going to drink that part, but it's going to go in my juice. So it's already in my juice. Hey, Snuggles. So what I do with that, you can either, I take my little cup here now, take my little cup, I put ice in it if you want ice. If you don't, then leave it the way it is. But you take some ice, put it in here, put the juice inside, and drink it. And it's awesome. I've had it before. Now I'm just showing you guys how it goes. Okay, so now I put away all my stuff, clean up behind myself always. I don't want to have everything all over the place. With your tea, also, if you want tea, you could use the cinnamon as well. And the cayenne pepper. These are good things for you. These are healthy things for you. Things that you could use every single day. You want to do a juice at lunchtime. Lunchtime is awesome. And if you do it the night before, or you take a huge container like this, you take a huge container like this, and you fill it with that juice on Sunday night, and you start a new week. When you start a new week, bam, you got your juice for the rest of the week. All you got to do is put it in your cup, right? Take it with you. And when you take it with you, it's awesome because you're moving constantly. You're going to be moving constantly, plus your metabolism is going to move with you. I was doing this off and on for a minute, but I, now I'm going to keep doing it because I need it. I need to detox my liver, detox my stomach, detox my blood. So that's how I'm doing it now. Okay, and I will be keeping up with it. So just like and share for somebody else's uh, value, please. You can also do, <clears throat> I'm going to post a list of the stuff that you can do with juicing because for me it's awesome. I love it. I don't, I, I don't put out anything that, you know, doesn't make any sense. So I have to go through it first. Okay. Clean up behind myself always. This is my hair stuff. And if you want to use your, your other, um, your other lemon, you can. You can incorporate apples. You can incorporate apples, avocado. You can incorporate a whole bunch of fruits and vegetables into your juicing regimen. So, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna incorporate my stuff now. See, you see how much pulp that is right there? All this you can see it. See, all this is pulp up here. Okay, you can do it again. You can mix it up again and try to get it as Alright, so here it is. We're gonna 
to go ahead and get that out the way. We're going to get ourselves feeling better from our weights. My problem is my weights. So I, I just try to come on here and I try to give people, you know, things to do or things to change in their diet as well. I mean, besides all the other stuff that I do, <laughs> speaking Spanish with Jesse, environment affairs, design and coordination, and I have to keep myself busy. I have to keep myself motivated. I have to keep myself hot because I'm doing a whole lot of stuff, you guys. So now I'm going to go ahead and put some ice in here in my little owl cup. I have my owl cup here. What? No, my. Somebody was using it. Got lipstick on it. Me, right? All right. So this is my little owl cup. This is, if everybody knows who I am, I'm the purple diva, and I also love owls. Owls and the color purple. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> All right. So now I take my drink, and since we see it, that's what I'm drinking. The whole entire thing I'm drinking. Okay, guys. Actually smells good. Actually tastes good, too. Hmm. And if you want to try to cut down the taste of it. Oh, look, I made a perfect amount. If you want to try to take something, take some honey and put it inside of there as well. In a week, you're going to see difference. In a week, you're going to see your skin change, your hair change, your nails change. Everything is going to get stronger. So we have when we feel good in the inside, we're going to look good in the outside. Yes, Alicia, how you know, girl? Oh, yeah. Go ahead, Alicia. You know me, girl. Yes. I love owls. I love, um, I love owls. I love the color purple. And I just incorporate it into my business. So it's awesome. And it's, it, it says me all day long. But going back to the conversation that I was just having about this weight loss thing that I have to get back on. Because I, you know, I want to be here longer. You know what I mean? Uh, a lot of the stuff that happened yesterday with the Kobe Bryant and Jeannie and Gigi. Um, his birthday was in August of last year. And... He just turned 41. He was born the same year I was born, 1978. Okay? We were both the same age. And yesterday was one day, one of those days that I reflected on everything that happened. And then when I saw the date that was on the, on the TV, 1978, he was the same age as I was, or I am. But he died in those circumstances. So it made me really motivate myself now to keep up with what I'm trying to do because I have so much to do before I'm gone. And I want to leave my legacy for my daughter. So when I saw what happened yesterday with Gigi, his daughter, it was very emotional for me. And it's not like we know each other like that. But this whole entire thing that happened yesterday was awful. It was awful, you guys. Awful. But this is what, this is what motivated me to do this more. And now I'm going to do even more and more and more. And I'm trying to help people as, you know, trying to help them as much as I possibly can. It just feels like a, that I need to do it because he was doing it. You know what I mean? So even though he's passed away he's still here because he's left his legacy he was a legend and he actually did something good for the community and the world he gave himself up like that and that's what god wants for us god wants us to establish that with everybody the love that god gives is also the things that we receive and we give up okay so, see, I got all emotional and stuff. <laughs> I'm so emotional. <laughs> but, um, I'm just being transparent. And, yeah, it motivated me to go ahead and start doing my, my regimen again. All my juicing and everything. You know, my husband got me the machine, so I got to use it. Because I really want to, you know, get myself detoxed. You know what I mean? And this is a perfect time. 
It's only the what? The end of it's the end of January, so I'm starting a new. And now I'm starting a new month. So I wanna try to lose. I wanna try to lose 10 pounds in February, you guys. So I need some motivation. I wanna be motivated to lose that 10 pounds. I'm trying to lose my goal for losing weight every month is 10 pounds a month. So 10 pounds for eight months is 80 pounds, you guys. So I know it's gonna be hard, but no, 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 no. I'ma do it. You know why? Because I'm gonna commit myself to doing it. If a, 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 a if a if a if a person like Kobe Bryant dedicated himself from the very beginning, from the age of 17 to become the best, and he came to that, he did it. He did it. So guess what? I can do it too. We can all do it if we put our minds to it, right? We can all do it if we go ahead and say, look, I'm gonna do it, and that's it. There's no answers. There's no anything else besides that. Okay, so he's motivation. Okay, his daughter was following in his steps. So guess what? With all the motivation and everything that he gave to us, we have to take that all in and be able to say, you know what? I'm finna do this. I'm going to do this. Yo lo voy a hacer. Y voy a enseñarle a otra persona que lo haga también. Okay, if you guys didn't understand, I said, I'm going to show somebody else how to do it so they can learn, so they can show somebody else. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and enjoy my drink, my detox. Here it is, you guys. See how cute it is? <laughs> that is good. That is good. I'm gonna go ahead and put some um I'm gonna go ahead and put some uh honey in there because I love honey in my stuff. Not a lot, you don't need a whole lot. People like to put a whole lot of it in there, but it cuts down the taste of the celery. The celery is very potent, but the celery is supposed to be good for you. It's good for you because it cleanses you. And also, you wanna you wanna try um you wanna try to go with turmeric. Go with turmeric when it comes down to your teeth because turmeric opens up your um, blood vessels, arteries. It helps you to, you know, move your blood. You know what I mean? And don't try to sit for so long because I sit for a very long time. Let me tell y'all. I sit for a very long time and what happens to me is that my legs start falling asleep and then I can't move. I can't do nothing because my legs are falling asleep. Last night was a restless night for me. Last night, my legs were falling asleep and I'm, you know... It's like, oh my gosh, it was it was bothering me. So I was like, you know what? I got to do this. I have to detox because that's what it, so I I stopped, try I got up and I looked it up on the internet. So I started with the liver. So I go ahead and I start cleansing my liver this week. Drink a lot of water, even excuse me, even though I'm already it's already coming up. Even though you're gonna go to the bathroom. But you got to get used to drinking water because that's what's going to help you in the long run, okay? Water, what it does is cleanses you as well on top of what you're doing. You're detoxing. You're detoxing your liver. You're detoxing your stomach. And I'm 41 years old. I'm about to be 42 this year. You know what I mean? So you want to keep in mind, you know what I mean? You want to live longer? You have to do. You have to make sacrifices. And I have a four-year-old, five-year-old daughter that I have to be here for. And I have no way of know how that I'm going to stop doing what I'm doing because I have to be here. Hey, mama. Hey, Laura. How are you, honey? Um, so I keep this content here going back to the tea. I keep the content here with the garlic and ginger, honey, and I think I put some turmeric in there. Yeah, I think I did put some turmeric. It is going to stink because I promise you it is going to stink. But when it's all said and done, it's cleaning you out. Okay. So, if you guys want to be on a regimen of cleaning yourself out every week, do something different. I know it gets boring because I get bored. But in all actuality, you're cleaning yourself monthly because if you start off the month, I'm ending the month with the detox for the liver. But I'm starting the month of February. Oh, honey, I'm good. I'm here um, doing a, a live on detox and juicing and stuff. Um... But I'm going to start February with the stomach detox. So that'll be next week. Monday starts 
my stomach detox. And my stomach detox, I'll have pointers on that one too. So you guys can be on point with that. But the next, the then after that, it will be my blood detox. Blood detox is going to be um, another one, another regimen. But what happens is you're going in rotation. So every three weeks, you should head up to the detox for the liver. Then the second week should be your stomach. And then the third week should be your blood. So like that, you're in rotation. But you have to remember to drink water. Drink water because that's what's also going to help you. That's what's also going to clean you out. That's what's also going to make your blood, uh, your, your, your skin glow. If all of that works all in itself. So if we feel good from the inside out, it's going to show on our faces. It's going to show on our skin. Your skin is going to be glowing, vibrant, everything. So take this into the consideration. When you're starting a detox, I started today. By the time the end of February should come, I should be 10 pounds lighter. <laughs> or maybe 15. Or maybe 20. I don't know. But my goal is 10 pounds a month. 10 pounds a month. 10 pounds a month. Okay? And that's keeping it off. But it's keeping it off healthily. If that's even a word. Healthily meaning you're not taking off all this weight and then all of a sudden, bam, you're back to where you were. Because that's not going to work. You know what I mean? And we all, we all plateau at one time or another. We start losing weight. We go to the gym. We start losing weight. And then, oh my God, we lost 10 pounds. Woo, that is awesome. But then all of a sudden, bam. Everybody say, oh, you look good. You look good. What happens? Bam. For me, it's, oh, you look good, girl. You ain't even got to use them. Oh, no, I got to lose this weight. But then I get to eating again. Okay? So, with that being said... <laughs> Let's continue the momentum, like I always say. Let's continue the momentum when it comes to everything and anything. Let's get it in, and let's get this popping. Whatever your goal is, you got to be realistic with it, okay? First of all, you could lose five to eight pounds a month, but you want to push yourself to an even number. Mine will be 10. 10 pounds a month. 10 pounds starting today. So I'm going to write this on my, on my wall. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to write it on my wall right here. See, this is my, this is my, um, this is going to be my wall. You guys see in the wall, right? All right. So what we're going to do is, that's my grocery list part. Let me clean that off so you can, guys can see it and y'all guys can see what I'm doing. All right. So it's going to be 10 pounds. A month for eight months. Okay, so 10 pounds a month for eight months. That's 80 pounds, you guys. 80 pounds. I am actually 225 pounds. No, 235 pounds from right now. So what's going to happen is once I go into February... And I start detoxing my stomach. I'm 235 pounds. I should be 10 pounds lighter. So that would be, I'm going to go for that 15 because it's 235 right now. So what I'm going to go is, I'm going to go in and I'm going to try to minus that by maybe 15. Because I think it I, I think it'll work that way. 15 pounds for what I'm trying to do. Hey, Danielle. Hi, Pedro. Hi, Ida. Ida, Laura, Don, and D. What's going on, you guys? I'm just going on real quick, talking about this detox that I'm trying to do. So, we're starting with the detox for, like I was saying before, we're starting with the detox for the liver. Liver detox. Um, I'm going to put the stuff that you might need for your liver detox. This is my liver detox. It might work for you. It might not work for you. But you want to try it. Don't say that you tried it and you didn't try it, okay? Because it does work. I've done it. I lost 15 pounds in the, in the month of July, a pound a day, okay? So I know it works. I've done it. I'm just putting it out there for you guys because people have been asking me. And juicing is the bomb, you guys. Juicing is, is what it is, okay? So with that being said, I'm going to get off of here. I'm going to post this on my YouTube channel. 
which I'm going to put into my YouTube channel so you guys can see and y'all can go through the whole process again so you guys can be aware of what I'm doing. Then next Monday, I'm going to go ahead and do it again. I'm going to do it with the stomach detox though, okay? So Monday, this Monday today, January 27th, I started with my uh, liver detox. I'm going to post whatever I put on in my juicer so you can see. Then I'm going to do Monday of next week, I'm going to do the juicing for the stomach, okay? And this is going to clean you guys. I'm talking about if it doesn't clean you out, I don't know what y'all doing. But y'all should be drinking water. You guys should be drinking water. You, sh you guys should be drinking at least 16 classes a day of water. I'm not doing it though. See, that's when my fault lies. And I, I could be transparent with you guys, right? I could be transparent, right? Yeah, I think so. You guys are my friends. <laughs> my FBA friends, right? So, yeah, you guys. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and post the video on my YouTube channel. And you guys just go there if you need any more of, um, you know, any more of the input of what I just spoke about. Then you guys can go from there, okay? And that's what I'm going to do from now on. I'm just going to go ahead and post. I'm going to go live here and I'm going to post in um, my YouTube channel. Okay, guys? See you guys.